you are going to create a website for the gift store. This is activity 3.1. Always you're gonna, uh, you're gonna have in the instructions the site name and the local site folder. You need to open Dreamweaver. And over here, we're clicking on the site menu. Manage sites. Over here, you have uh, several actions that you can do. You may create a new site. You may delete a site. You may edit a site. And you may ed save a site. Now, saving a site is just with the function export. Let's create a new site. First, the site name. On the instructions, the site name is gifts-id. So we delete. That box should be empty. We copy paste it and we change the word ID by our personal ID. Then local site folder. Make sure this box is empty always and in every case. Okay. And on the instructions, the site name is like this. I'm going to copy paste it to make it easier. So again, local site folder box should be empty and click on the icon folder. Now, you need to save on your personal folder, so you need to select it, and you're going to create it a new folder with the name according to the instructions. You're going to replace these words with your personal information, your ID, and your name. Once you're done, you need to make sure that the folder is selected. So you click on the folder, and once it's selected here, then you click on Select Folder. As you can see, the lo local site folder is properly specified in your ID and according to the instruction. The next step is to specify the Images folder on Advanced Settings. So back to Dreamweaver, you click on Advanced Settings, and you define the default images folder. The box should be empty and you click on the folder icon. Again, make sure you are saving in your ID and on the corresponding local site folder. In this case, we should be in GIFs. Then you create a new folder and you call it images. If it's not selected, just click on it, select it, and then select folder. This is um, probably done since you are saving in your ID on the local site folder and images folder. Make sure you have this path every time you are specifying the images folder. Now that you are sure about this, then you click on save. And it's very important that you save the site you just created. So you need to click on export, which is saving the site. Otherwise, you are going to lose it. It's like you did nothing. And you need to make sure that you are saving in your ID and on the local site folder. It's going to be the site name. So you just click on Save and Done. This is the Files panel. Over here, you're going to check that your site is properly named and it's in your ID and according to the local site folder name provided on the instructions. Inside of it, you have the Images folder and the exported file. Now, this ported file is very important. This is where you save what you just did, the site name and the local site folder name. If we open it, just for you to see, as you can see, here we have the site name, you have the local site folder name, and also the images folder. You are never opening it, never opening it. Just for you to learn the importance of saving the site or exporting it. Now, we need to create the index page, index.html. Let's do it. You need to click on the, rib the blue ribbon for the local site folder. And over here, you right click. The first option is new file. This is, this is the option to create a page HTML. So you click on new file. Once it's here, you replace on title by the page name, in this case, index. To open a page, you just double click on this icon 
and it's open. Okay? Now, if you don't have the properties inspector, then you just click on window and over here you find properties. You should have this properties inspector window open. Here we have the untitled document and we need to change it. According to instructions, the name should be not untitled but, C, but CS keeps home. So the visitors of the site will know, will know what page they are in. And we need to save. To save uh, the page, you just right click on the gray area and then you just say save. In order to see what you did, you may just right click again and then open in, in browser. I'm choosing Google Chrome. Okay, so let's save it. Right click, Google Chrome, and here you have the title. So if you don't do it, it's going to be untitled, just as you read it a moment ago. That's it.